What do I have in front of me? Yeah. Well, looks, looks like, like two glasses of milk, no doubt about it. But are they really? One comes from a cow, the other from almonds. The FDA may soon be enforcing a federal standard defining milk as coming from the milking of one or more healthy cows. Where does that leave almond milk? What about coconut, rice, or soy milk? They might just be called something else entirely. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration is not on board anymore, apparently, with referring to non-dairy alternatives. Like, we've talked about these, and you see them at almost any coffee shop now. The almond milks, the soy milks, the coconut milks of the world. Well, when these things come from things that don't lactate, the FDA is now saying you shouldn't call it milk. In fact, they describe milk as the lacteal secretion practically free from colostrum obtained by milking one or more healthy cows. So where does that, where does that leave this massive new industry of non-dairy milk I alternatives mean, really? which wouldn't be yeah. milk alternatives so, anymore. So these, these nuts, these seeds, these grains, obviously not coming from lactating Are you talking, cows. About, milk are you no, talking no, about the nuts at the FDA or are you talking about nuts at the FDA? I get I what you're saying. I, yeah. I, I find this a little bit over the top and I wonder if there's a little bit of an ulterior motive going on here, if there's influence I just think I, we, I think we need to milk great. this topic this for all it's worth. So, <laughs> so what do you think? I think, I think Dr. Orden and I are on the same page here. I think the FDA is charged with protecting public safety. There are so many fake and misleading claims out there. There are supplements out there that pose a real danger to people's health. And I feel like to prioritize something like this just seems like an incredible misuse of resources. I, I just feel like this isn't really gonna hurt anyone if you call this almond milk versus almond juice versus I almond I think, well extract. that's where things get confusing. Yeah. What, what, so, what do you call it? So I almond think, secretions, almond, I don't know. So here's I, no, the thing in terms that, that, of use of resources, the FDA is going to take public commentary. And so I think to your point about maybe a financial gain, the sales of true dairy are projected to drop by 11% between 2015 and 2020. The alternatives from these other sources are projected to increase by 61%. So I think there is a tremendous financial aspect to whether or not you're calling something milk because of the nutrients, the consistency, the taste. I mean, that's where the, the question really arises. Is it safe to make that comparison to true dairy milk? But what you call it, I, I feel like this may not be the biggest threat to public health right and I now. And I do think there's a lot of confusion out there, and we've talked on the show before, people may pick a milk alternative, I guess I can use that term there, but mm -hmm. I just don't know what you would call this. If this is now called almond milk, I guess you would, uh, almond... Secretion doesn't uh, work. No, 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 how about almond, Either nectar, beverage, almond, nectar. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you could call it almond juice, you could call it almond extract, I guess. But here but is I, where I, I, I will say people get a little bit confused is, you know, almond milk is very different than eating then, almonds. And I think some people forget and they'll choose, a, they'll choose an, an alternative uh, to dairy and they'll think that they're still getting protein and things like that. And the truth is that's, it's, it's a very different thing. And I think that's where there's a lot of confusion as well. But yeah, terminology, maybe we come up with something right now the FDA could use, I don't know. Apparently these regulations were put into place by the FDA decades ago before they ever even anticipated there would be non-dairy sources referred to as milk. But I, I think, you know, if we're gonna focus on something, maybe we should be focusing on the nutrient content, whether or not it's fortified, really the health aspect of it. But I think the terminology is really quite financial and marketing. I'm not, I'm not really sure that's protective for anyone in any way. We support the dairy industry, but milk is not for everybody. Some people just don't tolerate it. There's a better alternative for certain people. Yeah. So I guess we'll see. We didn't come up with a good name. What were you we, hoping for? I don't know. I was hoping to have a little brainstorm. You two oh. are smart. I, I mean, <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you 30 more you didn't seconds. Like, you didn't like nectar? Nah. Well, th that... Just almond, almond drink? drink? Yeah. Nah. Soy drink? Oat drink? Well, I think part of it too is, is oh, that I mean, it, it, it may end up being something yeah. as simple as that. You know, it may it may very well be. Yeah, and but, milk but alternatives are made from different things. I mean, coconut milk is different than ground up almonds with sweetener being called almond milk. So I, I think so the true. derivation actually differs quite a lot. To me, the one thing I will say is I would I would actually love it if the FDA just cracks down in general more with with these spurious marketing claims Absolutely. more than names.